day one of my senior project and we were up on Oso Ridge in the Ventura River Preserve and doing trail work at the top. Um, we have a crew of I believe seven here. So basically just filling in some ruts, building drainage and um, building up some berms. Filling this in a bit. Drainage right here so the water flows off. And then a berm here to catch you. We have drain another drainage right here going off there and a little roller. And we've basically filled in a whole rut that formed right here because of the rain. Day one is complete. We did a little work. Nice to get things started. Um, you can see here, coming in. A little drain there. Nice little berm. Come through here, made that a little wider. Little drain here and roller. And you come through here, we're probably gonna make this drain better and a nice little berm. So yeah, it's a good and then drain and roller. So it's a good start to things. And that's like, that's the really issue is like, we are putting like lipstick on a pig kind of here in that like, you know, but that's like, but it's not bad. Like any historic trail on the National Forest Service was made by mules and like people trying to transport precious metals in like water right? or like, or ranchers and like is what it is, right? Yeah. Like it's unique. It tells a history. It's its own like type of fun. So you do need to just like add drains, add better corners in order to make it last so that people can use it. Cause if you don't improve these corners, like this trail is just going to get forever worse until it's so difficult that like three people use it. Right. And then that history is lost no matter what. So like by adding retaining walls down here, we can basically build up this corner right. to be zero degrees forever because it's going to have the backing of a false hill slope. And we're essentially changing the height of the hill slope down here, reducing the grade of that so that we can reduce the grade of this. Gotcha. Um, it's yeah, it's just kind of like physics and math. And so there's a nice platform to go right around. Okay. And that'll solve all those problems in like two steps. But here, like what we want to do is we'll move these rocks down and whoever has that McLeod will basically build a notch in here angled okay. down in the dirt. If the wall is always tilted, it's always going to come toward the slope. But at one point I want it to go straight up. Gotcha. So the second key allows you to switch direction a little bit, but maintain all the pressure going down on the original thing like 80 million year old rock i mean that's why i like it all is like you're basically in a natural classroom like trails aren't just for you know like being outside i mean i just think like it's cool that you're traveling over millions of years of history in like 30 seconds on a bike yeah if that probably 10 seconds on a bike like <laughs> yeah and it's yeah i mean it's a natural laboratory in and of itself like when you're bringing kids out here like they're just inherently learning like you see changes in rock like you understand it's different with your tires when you're going on different spots like before and after rain yeah you know geology climate yeah. ecology like yeah building retaining walls like you are providing the foundation for plants below that retaining wall to like actually come out wow. that's what's wild is like all trail stuff comes back to like right it really is as simple as just understanding of doing things right the first way because it's not just climate so that's what we're doing and what this is going to do is we're going to fill this bottom side with rocks fill this whole drain right here that's existing with rocks mm -hmm. so that the water can still move through it and the dirt we're going to fill around with rocks and basically have dirt on top rocks underneath and 
it's going to allow water to continue moving off and out. We're going to dig this out a little bit, but build more of a wall over here that rests on this. And that's what you're going to be using to build this back up. Hey guys, we're back here on Oso Ridge. Um, I'm here by myself today and getting some work in after the rain. It's um, March 30th, so it's been a while since I did trail work. Um, much needed, but it's been super dry, so it's difficult. Now that we got some rain, um, it's a lot easier to work with, uh, but what comes with rain also comes ruts and trail damage. So you can see up here, it kind of rutted a little bit. And here, um, where we built one of my retaining walls, uh, you can see it rutted out a little bit, and then the retaining wall is actually falling a little bit. So I'm gonna check the structural integrity of uh, the retaining wall, add some dirt, and uh, should be good to go. So I kind of reshaped that corner. Uh, it's looking a lot better than after the rain, so uh, we're gonna move on. See what else there is to do. All right, I'm here at the second turn. Um, pretty rutted out after the storm, but I'm just gonna fill in some dirt and build up this turn right here. Just finished uh, my last work for the day on this turn. Um, overall, it was a good day. Got a couple hours of work in by myself, which was kind of nice. And, um, Definitely touched up on some things after the rain. The trails are a lot better after the rain and uh, it's a good time to work on them. Probably gonna finish up on Oso Ridge. It kind of needs more work than I can give overall. Uh, it was never really built right from the beginning. So it's kind of just touching up on uh, what needs to be touched up on, uh, making it rideable and fun, but not ideal. So I think I'm gonna move on and work on some other trails if I have the time. A lot needs to be weed whacked and um, brushed up on in the river preserve. So uh, hopefully get some more work in in the future.